Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You might notice that the background is a little different today and that's because I'm in Toronto visiting my family. The coolest part about being an online entrepreneur though is that I can create these videos from anywhere. So today's topic is all about how to create an opt-in freebie. So this is something that you give away in exchange for an email address. And this can be a PDF, a checklist, or any other kind of digital download that you can think of. So these are actually really easy to create and that's what I'm going to show you now. Special shout out to Kim for sending me an email with this video topic. If you have anything techie that you want to see a video on, just just send me an email, which I will leave in the description below. All right, so the tool that we're going to use for this is called Canva, which is a fantastic free graphic design tool that is especially great if you are not a professional designer. So you just need to head to canva.com and then sign up for a free account. Then once you do, this is what you are going to see you're going to see that they have all of these gorgeous pre-designed templates that you can customize for your brand. So this is where my best tip for Canva comes in. So first I want you to go through this list and see if you can find the type of PDF that you want to create. So if you're just doing a general information-based PDF, then you can simply use the US letter document. However, a lot of my students already have something in mind that they want to create, such as a checklist. So I go down here through the designs and I can't find checklist. That's fine. Don't feel as though you're limited by these designs. So all you need to do is head over to Google and this time you're going to type in Canva checklist. Okay, and what you're looking for is a link that is created actually by Canva. So it needs to say canva.com at the front. And here I can already tell from this link here that it is going to be checklists. So I'm going to click on this and it may be one of their blog posts, but you'll see that it will likely include a green button that tells you to design or it will go straight into the templates. So we're just going to click start designing a checklist. And now it's going to open up a design document. Okay, no, we don't need to see how it's done. <laughs> All right, it's going to open a blank document. And what it's going to bring in is all of these pre-designed checklists for you over here on the left-hand side. So let me reiterate that point again. You are not limited by the design types here within Canva. If you just head over into Google and you type in something more specific that you're looking for, it is very likely that you're going to find some templates already. So that's my best tip when it comes to Canva. So back to our checklist. Now that we're in the design area, you can look over on the left and see all of these different checklists that you can use. So now we need to customize this for our brand. So go through the list and find one that you like. All right, so I found one that I like, so I'm just going to click on that. And now I need to customize this to match my brand. So Canva is very much a drag and drop type editor and they've made customizing it very simple. So first I'm going to start with the title. All I need to do is click on this and delete what is there already and then type in my business name. Awesome. And then if I just highlight it, go over here to this color square, I can customize that to one of my brand colors. And then I'm actually going to do the same with this flag type design, click on the square, change it to one of my brand colors. So one of the biggest things that I see people struggle with is that they attempt to start their design from scratch. This is really hard, even if you are a designer. So rather than starting from scratch, I do recommend that you use one of the templates that Canva has already designed for you and instead customize it to match your brand. So that's why we're going to customize this one 
rather than attempting to build it from scratch. All right, so this background does not work for my brand, but as you can see, I can change the color. Sometimes you will not be able to change the color, so in that case, I instead replace it with a pattern. But we're lucky here that we can customize. Okay, great. So for example, let me click on all of these. Oh, nope. All of these in this template, you can actually change the color. If you can't, then I would just delete it. Let me explain that. <laughs> so here is some headphones, right? And this actually works for my business. That's fine. I'm going to go up here, change it to one of my brand colors. Now, if I couldn't, if I, if this square up here did not appear, I would just head over to the search bar and type in headphone icon. And as you can see, Canva has all of these gorgeous icons already included in here for you that you can use. So for example, if I click on this one, it's awesome, but there's no color box up here. So that means I can't change the color. So that's just something that might happen to you and to keep in mind. But these ones I'm allowed to customize. So if I wanted, I can customize the pencil to match my brand and I can customize the glasses. So let me just do that quickly and change the color of my pencil. Okay, so something like that. So now all of a sudden it is much more on brand for what I do. And another thing that you're probably going to want to do is change the font type if you have already established your brand fonts. So I have one of mine is Cooper Hewitt. Okay, and then I would change all of these. Unbold that. Okay, great. So there is the checklist that we have now created. And then, well, let me delete this one down here. <laughs> So here is the checklist that we have created and now all you need to do in order to get the PDF of this is to click download, change this to standard, and download. So now this is going to download to your computer and you just need to make sure that you include this in the email that goes out automatically once someone signs up to receive your download. So this is just the delivery of your PDF. I'm actually going to cover this topic in my video on Thursday, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when that video is live. So that's one example of creating a checklist. Just remember that you can customize it completely. So if you don't like any of these icons, you can simply delete them if you just click on it and then you click the trash can button right up here. Okay, and if I wanted, I could delete this background if I'm not feeling that. Or you'll see that if you head over to background over here, you can not only change it to a color, but there are all these patterns that you can choose from. For example, I could use that and then click on it and change it to one of my brand colors. But in general, you should be fine if you just follow the template as best you can. So rather than me coming in, you know, and trying to move it all around, which you absolutely can do, you, there's full freedom in Canva where you can move it all around, but it is easiest to have it look professional when you just follow the template because they have already considered, you know, font sizing and spacing that you might not know if you're not a professional designer. So that's my advice for creating your PDF. If you're just doing a general information-based PDF, just head over to US Letter Document, click on that, and same with the checklist. You'll see that there are all these different designs here. They tend to have a combination of more of a cover page, which you can absolutely include. So for example, I could use this as a cover page. Then I can add a new page below it, and then I could add one that's more information based like this one here. All right, so that's how you would do that. Then to add a new page, all you need to do, you can click this button here to copy this one, or you can simply add a new blank page below. 
But in general, what I do is customize this first page here for my brand, get it exactly how I like it to look, and then just copy it. So that's going to save quite a bit of time. And with this top one, let me just show you one more customization. So I'm going to first edit my text. Of course, that's too big, so you can head over here and change the size. Whoops, too small. Okay, let's say, and tech videos. Again, it's drag and drop, so I can just move it up, but I'm still mimicking the overall look of the template. Okay, and then I would customize these to my colors. All right, so you get the idea. Then something you would probably want to change is this photo here. Okay, so all I did was hit the delete key on my keyboard and I'm gonna head over to uploads. You can upload any photo you want, any photo or graphic that you have. As you can see, I have a few. So I'm just gonna scroll down to a more techie photo that I have, for example, this one. I'm gonna drag that and if I just drag it on top of that feature there, it's going to fill in. And there we go. So we have our cover photo. This obviously is too light, so I would deal with that after. But for example purposes, we have our cover page, and then we have each page of our information PDF. Then all we need to do is click download and download as a PDF standard. So that's it for this video. If you have any other questions about this, just let me know in the comments below. So that's how you create an opt-in freebie. If you would like to take it to the next level and make it fillable, make sure to click the link on the screen right now or in the description below. I have another video which will show you how to do that. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up, leaving me a comment and hitting subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.